Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another late night episode of State of Decay 2 The Walking Dead Simulation. So um, our car, our main car, is a little bit, uh, a little bit wrecked. So we're going to be taking this and yeah we need to be a little bit careful because we don't have any more repair kits and we can't make any so we have a mission we're gonna go and see the mysterious wandering trader and it's quite close to uh, where the other play carts have awoken the play the mysteriously awoken play carts which, after reviewing the footage last night, uh, I'm pretty sure they woke up all by themselves. I didn't realize that was still part of the game. I thought uh, I thought they'd removed that feature for some reason. I'm not sure why I thought that, but I did. So yeah, apparently when you get to a certain point in the game, the game starts waking up the play carts. I guess just to keep you on your toes. Maybe there's a use for this. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna attack those play carts. Once we've seen the wandering trader, we'll do what we can. My only concern is this uh, this van is nowhere near as mobile or agile as the other vehicle we have. So, well, we'll see how we go anyway. Also, getting into this mysterious wandering trader in the middle of this insane amount of hordes might be a little bit of a challenge. First try. Good stuff. What are you wearing? Not wearing. What are you um, carrying? What gun have you got? I'll take them. Ooh. Okay. She's only got a light vehicle upgrade kit, which is... A bit of a shame. I'll take the advanced suppressor as well. Ooh. <clears throat> that thing takes 50... 50 bullets. I don't think I've ever seen that gun before. Some very, very nice guns here. But we don't really need them in this series. Honestly, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I would normally get this, but, you know, we just don't take that many hits in this series. That's I will the take the light vehicle upgrade kit as well, because we'll get, uh, no doubt we'll get something. What's better, professional suppressor? I actually don't know which one's better. I think that's going to do for now. So how many do we have awake? One, two, three. Oh, we just got another mission come in as well. In the middle of the... Uh, I'll pause the recording for a second. It's the Driftwood Doctors again. And I'm going the wrong way. Carts were part of God's plan. I'd like to have words with them. Now we don't have to worry, obviously, about waking anything up. 
because everything here is already awake. Also, that's okay, not quite but we can't actually secure the place as long as that plague properly. Is nearby. I need a break. Okay, so obviously I've kind of been caught here. This place is just Don't awful. like the look of this one, to be honest. Damn, this is it. Mind you, this is a good spot. Good spot for the play cart to be in. Now, I should probably um, not go back in there because I don't have any more stims. <clears throat> I mean, I don't have any more energy drinks. So let's go for a little wander. And relocate a little bit. Uh, we've got some more supplies in the back of the van here. If we can get a second. We might not get here. Shit. Your home is a reflection of your priorities. That's as true now as it ever was. If you can't bother to build defenses, don't be surprised if somebody comes knocking. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can get back to the van without without dying.
start securing this area for real. <laughs> Looks like we got a bloater. Oh, there was three here, okay. <clears throat> so I've got two, two over here and then one over the other side. Let's see how we go, eh? Definitely, definitely should not be doing this with uh, a big backpack on. So let's address that problem. Quite like this area here. It's a little bit like a maze, isn't it? So, hmm, let's do this one. It's one of those deconstructed houses, so these ones don't give you a lot of protection. Gotta be careful doing that, jumping out near zombies. This thing packs a punch. Yeah, it does. Oh no. That's a bite, guys. I am almost done for. This could be a loss. Jump, son. Okay, we need to get out of here. Two minutes to get back to base. This is not good. Where's my car? That was close, guys. That one caught me. Terrible. Where's a doctor when you need one? <clears throat> I 
Oh dear. Come on, man. We're in the clear for now. Slow as hell, isn't he? Safe with a plague heart this close. This will be close. This will be very close. Dante is our only uh, original, our only character from the original three that hasn't been amputated. Guys, this is going to be really, really close. Can I swap him out? Not sure if you can put people in a hospital from a distance. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know whether I like the odds here. I'm going to go for it though. Sheesh. 20 seconds. And I'm bringing zombies back to base. 10 seconds. I think because his health was so low, we amputated his arm and it killed him. It didn't actually... Oh no. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, also, he's in the base. So we need to be aware of that. He, uh, because, because his health was low and I didn't give him, well, his, his permanent health was low. Don't worry, my friend. I've got your back. Uh, sorry, I'm at a little bit of a, I'm at a, little bit of a loss for words here. What's going on here? Am I pressing the wrong key? Yes. Because his health was really low, the amputation action affected his health. Like it hurt him, you know, like getting scratched. And so his health needs to be re... the character's health needs to be reset. Before... Um, sorry. So the character's health needs to be reset before you amputate the limb. You need to make sure they've got max health. Because otherwise the actual amputation can kill them as well. Crazy. Well. There goes our first... Uh, death. Our first death. And how's that too? We just got his brother. Stress eating. And low morale. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate, but you know we've still got three characters, I suppose. We kind of almost destroyed our van getting back here, though, so that's a problem. Um, also, I need a bit more fire. Well, it was inevitable, wasn't it? It was going to happen at some point. Someone was going to die. He was our leader, wasn't he? Hmm. Okay, alright, let's focus in here. Oh, we wasted 10 bandages on that. Son of a bitch. We used 10 bandages to do the amputation and it bloody killed him. Could have just let him die and not worried about it. Killed the play cart. He just had to go and leave us. Didn't he? he sure did. 
So that's he was our actor. Um, what are we looking at in terms of this guy's skills? Okay, he doesn't have a fifth skill. But I don't think we're really in need of one of these. I think if anything we hold out maybe we can find a mechanics book. Uh, let's get this weapon repaired. We don't have a lot of uh, parts now. But we can do some work there. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about it like injuring you does it because his health was so low okay I'm not taking this van this time Let's go back, carry on what we were doing. It's quite far, isn't it, to be away. I'm not sure if you can put a community member into the hospital, like as in into the infirmary from an outpost. I'm not, you know, I'll tell you what, let's go by, we'll test it now. I was going to say, I don't really want to test it in those moments. We'll just see if we can do it here. Can I put this guy into the infirmary? Although, I won't be able to anyway, will I? Because he doesn't have anything wrong with him. Okay. Well, we'll have to test it. Maybe once we've got partial blood plague. Yeah, that was crazy. Now, I don't really remember which one we were fighting. I think it was that one. Let's go have a little chat with this uh, enclave. See what they've got for sale. Hey, you're not dead. Let's make a deal. Sure. Camp heater. That's morale. Mm, give me one of them. Not really anything else I want for now. Brainless over there. Mysterious broadcast. One way to make an entrance. Okay, I've got an infestation there. You gotta watch out for plague zombies around here. I feel like that place could have a toolkit. That little car outside could be a good uh Are you up for some trading? Yeah, sure. Nice. Fire in the hole. That little car there could be good with our light vehicle. 
upgrade kit that we just got. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better now we've got a tool kit. Okay, let's take a second here. Get this thing repaired up. Also fuel. And then we'll go and finish off this play cart. It's just down the way here. Yeah, these ones have always I've always found them to be quite awkward. The uh, half finished buildings, you know. Probably not a really good spot to park there, but just one left. Looking for a job, time to do it. One more. One more. Okay, maybe not. Looks like it's down for the cat. Can't see a damn thing in here, man. That is so risky in there, you know. So many just tight corners to get caught on. Bit of heart pounding action there. Greetings. Do come in. Now, where's my van? Okay, right in front of me. Firecrackers set them on fire. Since when? I did not know that. I did not know that firecrackers set the zombies on fire. Is that a bug? I've never noticed them. I've heard that popping sound and wondered what is going on, but I've never seen it. Okay, let's not do that now. Considering we need parts, I think we'll just go with this.
Moving right along. Oh my god, that was the wrong. I gotta stop. That was the wrong thing to throw. Just absolutely hectic. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to attempt this play. Heart right now. I need a break. Obviously, we got stuck there. Bit of a pain, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to be smart. We're going to leave this one alone. Just because we've got half blood, you know, we're half plagued. And uh, we don't have Molotovs. We don't have enough equipment to make it smooth. So we just won't rush this one. I just got us a bit stuck there in our vehicle, so... Kind of need to unstuck ourselves, which will take a minute. sake. They're everywhere, aren't they? Literally everywhere. Okay, I think we're going to go back to base. We're going to reassess. We're going to drop this guy off. But I need to be able to get in our car and use the unstop command. And uh, that might be tricky right now. Suppose we could do some culling, some zombie culling. There's just fucking hordes everywhere. Like, like we got another like freak on our proper hands. hordes as well. 
Now let's go around. Oh! Oh my god. That was almost it. All I wanted to do was pick up the uh, crossbow bolt as we ran past it. A couple of juggernauts around, don't we? Wow. Everywhere. They are everywhere. If I catch this plague, I'll oh my god. I just cannot make this one work. This guy's just lost his brother as well and we're out here making him deal with this crap. Yes, yeah, so we've got to get in the car and use the unstuck command because it's, we've gotten ourselves wedged in there. Plus, Car's a bit, bit damaged now. There was a zombie gathered on the front of it. Shit. Oh, come on, people. By the smell, there's either a slaughterhouse or a plague heart nearby. I'm betting it's the latter. Come on, quick, 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 quick. There goes the door. Okay. Finally. We're out of here, guys. I need a break. I need a minute to recuperate. Now, what other enclaves do we have? Is that all we've got? Just the one? It's one there. Yeah, we didn't actually get to that mission, did we? Our food outpost has been infested. So I could have sworn that that, um, that self-awakening play card system had been removed because I thought they wanted to give players the chance to not, you know, if they wanted to play without base sieges, then they had a, they had a means by which to do that if they kept on top of their Mind you, I suppose if you keep on top of the infestations, it's still... You're still free of base sieges, aren't you? So... Never mind, I'll shut up. What's going on, Jay? Let's make a deal. Yeah, sure. He wants me to find his friend. Go on then. Sweet. Where? There. Search the stone and spoon and the cone. Or the stone at the spoon and ah. Oh, my brain isn't uh, wanting to work right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm just going to shut up. Let's go over here and have a little look. Mate, what exactly are you playing at over here, eh? Didn't you know it's an out it's a zombie apocalypse, mate? Let's go. Get out of it. Come on. 
Oh, don't even, don't even. I didn't realise it was one of those missions. If they go over to him, I'm, I'm not getting involved. Let's just lead them away a bit, eh? Mate, I do not need to be dealing with this right now, in all honesty. I'm extremely injured. Half almost plagued. In fact, tell you what, I'm leaving him to it. It's not worth it. For this mission, it's not worth the risk. We are literally almost plagued. And if we get plagued, and this guy loses an arm as well, all because this guy wants some ice cream. Tell you what, if it's clear right now, then I'll go, but if it's not completely clear, nah, fuck that. I'm done. We're done with him. He can, we'll leave him to his own, to his own devices. You know, we're messing around out here and in a car that's very closely explodable. Very close to being exploded. With almost blood plague. Trying to rescue a guy who just wants to help carrying home some ice cream. Insane, isn't it, guys? It's insane. We do have a little bit more fire. So that's good. That bloody... What was that? Is that a zombie? Oh. Um, that bloody bloater. Or oh, a couple of bloaters. Screwed me over a bit. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have recovered from the, the crashing issue that we were having. And so, uh, potentially we have managed to save our vanilla lethal series. And so we will be carrying on with that. I think I might continue to push through this first. I'm not 100% sure whether or not I'm just going to stick with The Walking Dead until completion and then move back over to Lethal. Why not? Although... Hmm. Also... That's a problem. I guess we could build a garden. Gives us one food. Watchtower. Garden, why not? Now where's this? Which one is it? Down there, okay. Well, we'll get to that. Okay, we're dropping this guy off completely. And then... I need to take a break. I want to make a coffee. Knock, knock. I'm home. And then we'll come back and see what is going on in the world. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me put him in the hospital first. Poor Dante. Let's take maybe Erilidar out. How's how's his? Situation. Okay, he looks pretty good. Let's get him set up. Tell you what, I'll do this. I'm going to take a break, guys. I'm going to make a coffee. We'll be back soon. Okay. All right. Let's have a look. I'm feeling the pressure. There's a little bit of fuel down there. One of our groups here. One of the, actually, they're a new group on the map. They're over here. Wants some fuel. So let's go down... Also, there's one there. We could do with a little bit more ourselves. Let's go get a couple fuel rucksacks. What's over here? The big van. I think I'm going to stick with the small car because it's more agile. I need a break. Huh. 
Oh god, we can't use, we can't take this, can we? <clears throat> we really need to do something about this. You know what? I think we take the van and we go and find a small car. There was one on the map. We've got a light upgrade kit. So in all honesty, that would be ideal because that would be extremely agile. And this big van, okay, it's great for dealing with, um, you know, carrying lots of supplies, but we're just not even really doing that. Um, we don't have time in most places. What a treat. Let's get some f fuel. Okay, all right, I'll stop. I've noticed this thing that happens with my mm, like psychology that. when, you know, when I start attacking a play card and I don't get to finish it. <clears throat> it's like a minor frustration, which leads That's to heavy. like an impatient, impatience. I really, I really want to get back there and finish it off, you know? It's like an unfinished, it's like my brain can't, kind of doesn't want to function properly now because, you know, like a child, like a small child, when it wants to, uh, it's not allowed to do what it wants to do. It sits in a corner, like, crosses its arms, like, hmm, I'm not doing anything now. You know, like that sort of moody little child syndrome. That's what my brain does when it's not allowed to finish its objective. Isn't that funny? My brain is throwing a tantrum at me. Like it's my fault that it didn't get to finish, finish the objective. Okay. Down. That's terrific. That is pretty good. Two bottles of painkillers. Honestly, I think we'll just get out of here, eh? Okay, let's go to this objective. Maybe we go and get that little Brogan Sport vehicle. If I can remember where it was, it'll still be marked on the map somewhere. It was near one of the. Uh, it was near one of the enclaves. Actually, I think it was the one we were just at. The guy checking for ice cream. Imagine that. Imagine that. Being in the middle of this zombie apocalypse. I mean, at the end of the day, okay, I can kind of see the logic in it. You know, people are desperately miserable. Maybe you just want to do something nice for people. That's terrific. And you're thinking, all right, I'll go and find us all some ice cream. Well, then risking your life for ice cream. What do you got, bro? You're always welcome here. You looking to trade? Sure, why not? Nice. Okay, so what have we got here in terms of uh, benefits? Overflow barracks, extra beds. It's no use to us. Chemistry. Please be a mechanic tank. Yes. 
Alright, so that is a real bonus to us right now. Hey, what's up? Oh yeah, we've been looking for someone like you to join us. Interested? We'll let those guys out to distract the horde. Now, one of these enclaves... Step on it already. Okay, okay, what's going on? Alright, hold on. Hold on, don't panic. That's my job. Now, there's an enclave here somewhere. With a bloody little car somewhere. Him. No, it's not him. Is it this one? Did we lose it? Well, I'll tell you what, let's not just hang around here. We'll move a bit further into the map. We'll have a look around. You just don't get a chance to rest, do you? Look, you know, like everywhere you try to stop. Here, there it is. Right, let's go get that. So we've got a mechanic now, that's really good. That horde's coming in fast. That's gonna help us a lot. stick around here for very long. Now we just want to get in and get out of here so let's try not to attract too much attention or get ourselves stuck. I don't like this at all, but okay, we're doing it. Oh. What am I thinking? What am I even thinking? Who's driving this thing? Guys. That mechanic. Yes, he made it. Oh, I tell you what, that was lucky. Now I don't know if we had anything in that vehicle. I don't think we did, did we? Did we have some? Oh, we did. We had a bit of fuel in the back. I mean, I can always come back for that. Let's just focus on getting home right now. Maybe dealing with that infestation. Oh, this thing's fast. I'm really surprised we got away with that then. Nope. We can deal with that later. We'll drop our mechanic off. Let's be wise. When is C honk horn? 
that's the dodge key. So if you try to get out of your car, and, and before you're actually out of your car, you try to dodge, you'll honk your horn. Which is what just happened a minute ago. So I really need to rebind that key. I've got it set for H as well, so we definitely don't need it to be C. Alright. Let's relax for a second here. Um What's happening? This shit is heavy. See ya. Is he infected, is he? Let's just drop this gear off. <clears throat> Keep one of those. Actually, I won't do that because it'll come with supplies. Special delivery. All right, let's get this thing upgraded. Check out what I just built. Very cool. Very very nice. All right. Hey, compadre. Also, one of our guys is a bit sick. Tank, so he did get a little bit of an infection. I think I'm gonna get better without help. Just then. How's our supplies? Actually really good. Loads of food, meds, ammo, materials. Fuel's a little bit low, but we did just pick up a fuel container. A fuel rucksack. Uh, where's that little handgun? And two more of them. Okay. Loading my final mag now. Now we're back in action. And now we can craft uh, repair kits. So awesome. And we have a nice little car with uh, it's an okay inventory space, I suppose. Jesus, look at all those hordes. Alright, let's go do something about this that infestation down here. I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to focus on the screamers. Didn't bring any lures, did I? Oh well, we can sort that out when we uh, clear this area. Is that a bloater there? Where is the screamer? I don't think I can shoot through these doors. No. I can see the screamer though, so that's a bonus. Let's see if we can get him through this window. There he is.
I'm slowing down. Really, what is the goal? What is the score with this? Oh, fuck. I gotta stay clear of that yeah, you have to hit him a few times, eh? Okay, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, this has brought us to the end of the episode. In the next episode, we're going to do our best to finish off, well, at least, at least this play cart, the one that we started. I think there's only one phase to go. So let's uh, stock up on a few um, distractions here. Okay, we have two of these now, which is great. All right, I'm going to get us stocked up, ready for the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for this episode of The Walking Dead Simulation. Please remember, check the links in the description. There are There's a lot of access down there to other stuff going on on the channel. Uh, and access to the second channel and the Discord, should you be interested in joining up. All right, thank you for joining me, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.